welcome to today's reading. If you are new here, I am your host, Nia Balkafro, and it is a pleasure to meet you. I hope you'll consider joining the soul family that we have going on here by subscribing and turning on post notifications so you can be notified every time that I post new content. And uh, just so you know, I will be announcing the winner to the giveaway within the next couple of days. So please bear with me. And if you're already turning, welcome back, soul family. I love you guys. Okay, so let's just jump right in and see what comes out today for Lisa. coming on multiple of these zodiac sign readings so that's quite interesting let's see your next card is the five of cups really focusing on lack maybe having a lot of lack mentality lately let's see what else came out we have the well in reverse we have the three of wands in reverse the ace of wands in reverse as well and underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, upright. Okay. I feel like a lot of you are focused on lack mentality. You have lost someone or something to perhaps a third party situation. And I do remember my last um, Libra reading so this might be a continuation if you have watched the previous one and you're dealing with that kind of scenario with the well to me well the well the well is a card that is unique to this deck it is a major arcana that is only in this deck and the well, to me, speaks of insight, new possibilities, creation, creativity, possibility. And so in reverse, along with, like these two cards give me a similar kind of vibe. So the, the three of wands looking out into the distance, so to speak, or looking into what it is that you want for your future okay so with the well here and the wands the three of wands and the ace of wands all in reverse what this is making me feel like here is again that it has been difficult for you to really maintain motivation and creativity passion and drive towards what it is that you want to create for yourself the well to me also gives me a little bit of um, hermit vibes with the little uh, thing here the saucer or whatever they're called all this smoke that's coming from it makes me think of something that can be created makes me think of the star card because in the in the hermit the hermit is holding a lantern with a star inside which the star is about hope healing and uh, to me creating it is about moving towards that creation using that motivation that you feel to plan for your future so to speak is 
is the vibe that I'm getting here with all these cards. But it's like you're so stuck in what happened and I understand how difficult it is to move away from a situation where someone has hurt you or where you feel left behind, you feel left out, you feel like someone took advantage of your heart, mistreated it, didn't really care. You're so focused on the negative that has happened to you, Libra, that your future right now, I feel like for some of you, if I were to ask you, you know, what is it that you want for your future? What are you planning to do? What is your next step that you're going to be taking? I feel like some of you wouldn't know because the first thing that would pop up in your head is like, well, I, I don't know because, you know, I thought my future was with this person and it's like whatever you try to think about your creativity and your passion, your drive, your motivation, what you want to do in your life, it's like you, you're you brought back to this memory. I saw 616. Um, six can be a number of love. It, it's like you're so caught up in your head about what has happened that you are not making the strides that you should be in order to move forward towards what it is that spirit has wanted for you that is meant for you because it is what is in your heart it's like you're so focused on the negatives that are going on in your life that you have been lacking this motivation, this passion for your creativity, for your creative projects, for a promotion, for finding a new job, or going back to school, or whatever the case is, Libra. With the Knight of Swords upright, I feel like this is more about you reflecting on your thoughts. And I know for a knight of swords, that may not be a traditional meaning for it. Usually people may say you need to convey how you feel. But the vibe that I'm getting right here is that you need to observe. Observe and, and really take into consideration what is it that you're thinking. Because the swords suit symbolize thoughts amongst other things but thoughts and action and it's like with all of these these cards down here that symbolize passion in reverse it's like your mind has been racing your mind has been going non-stop to where you're feeling like this crying over what has happened but not realizing that you already have you already have within you and around you so you don't need to be focusing on what has left you but I understand it's easier said than done of course but what this is saying what I feel like spirit is really trying to uh, get you to see and understand and remember is to focus on your thoughts what are you manifesting what is it that you want how are your thoughts bringing you down on a day-to-day -day basis? And how are they uplifting you? How can you use that thought energy to create and manifest for yourself? Okay, Libra? So, please be mindful of your thoughts. And although things may have happened in the past, it's time to be consciously aware to make the decision to move forward past the heartache and the pain that you have been through. Okay, Libra? So, I hope that this brought you some clarity and hope into your situation, some uh, different perspective. And um, if you enjoyed, I hope you'll consider liking, sharing, and uh, subscribing. And 
turning on the post notifications so you can be notified every time that I post a new video. So thank you very much for being here Libra and I hope your situation gets better. Thank you. Bye.